hi guys welcome to the channel zoe cyber here so today i'm going to be working on wi-fi hacking using a tool called aircraft mg and remember this video is for educational purpose so please don't go around hacking people wi-fi test on your network or your network you have permission so let's get started so i'm going to pull up my terminal here so basically the tool is called aircraft aircraft dash ng if you don't have just you can get the two by typing sudo apt install aircraft ng this is not only the two i'm going to be using actually but this is one of the major two okay so as you can see i already have aircraft ng but basically this is the step you're going to run if you are using kali parrot i think also ubuntu too or you are using wsl you can also download aircraft on it and for this video, you are going to be you, get, you, are, you need um, a Wi-Fi adapter. Yes, a Wi-Fi adapter. So a Wi-Fi adapter is what is going to enable your laptop to go into what is called a monitor mode. We are going to see what a monitor mode can do. So I or I'm, I don't have a Wi-Fi adapter actually, but I'm running Kali on bare metal. So basically, my Kali is using my laptop's network interface, and it works not that great, but it works for closed network. Okay, so I'm going to type iwconfig and as you can see for the WLAN 0, you can see, uh, um, you see the mode, it says manage, mode says manage. So basically we need to put this, we need to turn this mode from manage to monitor. So on manage, you can see, on manage, you can see network and you can choose the one you want to connect to. But when you put on monitor mode, you can see packets going around in different networks. Okay, so let's put it on monitor mode so you can see. So to put the monitor mode, I'm going to use a tool called Among ng. So I'm going to type sudo among tap ng. I'm going to say start wlan0 because as you can see, my network interface is wlan0. I think um Parrot OS is a different one. You can check it out too. So start wlan0. I'm going to enter and you can see. Let's type iwconfig again and you can see it now says mon wlan mon see it and you can see the mode monitor so basically what this allows us to do we can now we can now scan our area for networks and see packets going see packets that are going to and through in, in different networks but you can see here no wi-fi our wi-fi is no longer here because we're now in what's called monitor mode okay so basically for us to start seeing networks around us network i mean around us i'm going to be using a tool called aerodom aerodom so you can you can see we're not only using um aircraft but also different tools but aircraft is the main tool all these are the ones that are going to aid us so let's type sudo aerodom yeah aerodom aerodom tag ng i'm going to now put our uh, interface wlan0 mon since we're using monitor mode so it's mon and if i click enter Okay, you can see. I think around here, I'm the only one having my work. Um, I'm in a secluded area. Okay, so this is my SSID. I know. This is the name of my, my Wi Fi. I know. Okay, and as you can see. Okay, okay, I can see someone else. So, this is the time you don't go around hacking other people's Wi Fi. You can see this Wi Fi is not for me, so I'm not touching it. And it's using W. PA3 that's the latest encryption method for, for Wi Fi. I'm using WPA2. Okay, so let's just continue. So basically, I've seen what I want. I just need the BSSID. This is the BSSID. The BSSID of my own network. BSSID of my own network. This is the network I'm going to be attacking. Okay, so I'll just stop it. I'll stop it and leave it there. So now we now need to start cap um, capturing and shake. So to capture and shake, we're going to type sudo. This works capture and shake. Okay, first let me ls. Okay. As you can see, the documents are here already. The documents are going to be added. So to so the aerodrome, we're going to still be using aerodrome ng ng. Sorry, that needs to be together. I don't add space. 
So we are going to start with the channel. So as you can see, we are running on channel 11. You can see that all I even running on channel 11. So I'm going to write taxi space 11. Now we need BSS ID. So I'm going to say BSS ID. And I'm going to copy and paste this BSS ID of this my network anon. So paste. And I'm going to start tag W means an auto file. So that's the file I want to up, I'll put it to. So I'm going to write um anon. Let's just name it anon. Let's just name it anon. And we're going to put our interface. WLAN one. Enter. Okay, so basically we are going to be scanning. You can see the packets. We can see the packets. Power the rate. Not actually packet, but you can call it that. I call it that. You can see beacons, the power. Okay. All this is all these are possible because we are using a monitor mode. And you can see there is also something down here. BSSID station. So the, what this means is uh, so basically my Wi-Fi that for my phone. I connected it to my other phone. So basically this is my other phone here. So what we are going to do is we are going to deauthenticate. So the authenticate is like kicking someone off a network. So we need to deauthenticate this my other phone here. We need to deauthenticate out of the network. So when the phone tries to connect back to the origin um, to the main Wi-Fi, that's to this phone supplying the Wi-Fi. Um, a three-way handshake is going to occur. So a three-way handshake is it just a protocol that occurs for you for your phone whatever you are using to connect to your network so what goes on is called a three-way handshake so we need to capture that three-way handshake okay i think this can this has scan okay you can still leave it scanning we can open on that terminal so now we need to deauthenticate so we are going to use sudo airplay please take note of this tool sudo airplay and we're going to say dot dot and i'm going to put zero so zero is just going to run to I'm going to stop just going to run. So I'm going to put at eight. Okay, so basically we've been able to do authenticate. I'll be able to broadcast the authentication code. So if you go back here, you can see WP and shake. We've managed to capture the trigger and shake. So basically, there's another way of doing this so control C. There's another way of doing this. So if, if you want to deauthenticate a, a specific target, that you just want to deauthenticate a specific target, you do the sudo airplay and do zero, then tag A for the BSS ID. That's then this. Then you do tag C. Now C here does not start from your client. Remember, I'm using a different tool. So let's copy this. To type WLAN zero month and I'm going to click enter. So as you can see, we are sending a getting case packet. You can stop our packet. Okay, so basically, we've been able to capture the handshake. That's what's important. So I just I can stop this now. So basically, we have been able to do more than. So let's say 80% of the tax, we've been able to capture that four-way handshake. So the four-way handshake includes the encrypted. It's actually encrypted. Let me open it. So if I type ls, you can see some two, some stuff that we have in anon. So basically, this is what is important. This is what I'm going to be using. So let's try and open. Let's try and check what's in it. And as you can see, some gibberish. But with this, with these jargons. We're going to be able to get the password of this Wi-Fi. Okay. So now to get the password, we need something called um a word list. So in my in my former video, I created a word list. Uh, you can create a word list, but we have we also have word. Kali comes with available word list. So let me open some word list. So basically, when we type um, let's go to the Okay, so um the word list are stored C D USR USR share 
Then you do see the see the word list. Word list. And as you can see, if you type ls, you be able to see available word list. So basically, you can see this rocky.txt. See the rocky.txt. This is the word list that contains millions of passwords. Millions, I mean it, millions of passwords. So basically, I've been able to um sorry, I've been able to extract it to my desktop here. And as you can see, it's long, it's very long. So long, you can see the mouse way. So long. Billions of passwords. Okay. So it contains millions of passwords so basically this is the word we're going to use to crack our password today so now it's time for our two aircraft ng so basically type aircraft tap ng right then w for the word list basically where's our word list you can just drag and drop and the full part to show you can see the full part right then we do tag b for the bss id so we need the bss id of that network. Did I close? Uh, I think I should have to... Okay. This is the BSS ID. And the what is this? Um the sorry, I said what is the cap file. And then the cap. You see that? Right? Yeah, and you can see. Are you ready? One, two, enter. Okay, so it is running. It is running. So I basically, okay, as you can see, found key found. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everyone. So basically, this is our Christmas. Christmas. And it took zero points. Okay, sorry. It took. Where? How long did it take? Okay, I don't see that. Okay, I can't find the time left. But basically, time left was meant to be 57 minutes, 2 seconds. So for it to go through the whole password list. So it went it went through 0.21% of the password of the available password before it found Christmas. So imagine you have chosen an other password that have taken time. So basically when you are setting a password for your Wi-Fi, please use a very strong password. A combination of letter, numbers, and um and special character is advised. At least use a password of uh, I advise 10 character long. Yeah, 10 character long should be okay. I give the hackers hard time guessing your password. So basically, as you can see, this is a very bad way of writing password for your Wi-Fi. Don't just write Christmas. Don't just put your name. Don't just put your dog name. Put something hard. Make the hackers sweat. Merry Christmas, everyone. I remember. I remember. Disable WPS. So if you're using WPS, please disable it. Use what is called WPA2. As you can see, I'm using WPA2. Use WPA2. Even WPA2, WPA2 is hackable, but WPS is very easy to hack. So easy to hack than um, WPA2. And also, if you can upgrade to WPA3, I think more, more modern phone now. Modern phone are now using WPA3. Please upgrade to WPA3. Always monitor your network for unauthorized devices. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.